All right, let's have a refresher on, <clears throat> excuse me, how to calculate a DF2 uh, low pass filter. Just for some context, I, I'm creating a filter with a cutoff frequency of 10 kilohertz. I run this, it's Butterworth coefficients. Um, Actually, I was working on something else, so really, oops. There's my coefficients. I actually uh, edit it in, in Word to dump it into um, LT Spice. So I, I type out all the equations there. Right, there's my behavioral model, um, which when I do the Laplace transform and take the body plot, that's what you get. But how did I come up with all these values? Well, what I since there's five five stages, I just took the final stage, which is the highest constant, took the square root of it. I, <clears throat> took the um, the fifth root of it and then made the RC kind constants equal so that it, um, by the time they're done all multiplying it this uh, coming out of uh, a5 actually it's already scaled properly so that, that if RF is 100k and this is 100k having 100k gives me a gain of one but how did I come up with the other numbers? And how did I come up with this dummy? Well, I just put it in Excel. And so these are the constants A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. And A5 and B5 are the same. I take the fifth root of um, the final stage. And I keep it the same here just for uh, programming. All right. So how much gain do I need to be provided by the summer? Well, the two RC, the RC stage gives me a gain of this, but I really need a constant, I really need a gain of this. So here I just found what gain was needed to be provided by the summer. So I needed an additional 3.24 of gain. Then I uh, take B3 and divided it by um, this times this, right, which is squared. And then I needed a gain of 5.24. Then for the stage three, right, the gain provided by the RC network is this times this times this. So I divide that into here. That gives me the what gain I need, and so on and so on. I just chose the feedback resistance of 100K right and then what is the ultimate resistance that I need well um, when you set up the the summer properly you just divide the gain that you want into the feedback resistor and you get the resistance uh, that will provide that gain alright so if I needed a gain of 3.24 and this is my feedback resistor I divide 3.24 into 100K and I get 30.9. Same thing, I work it out. So these are my resistor values. Now, that's because this is set to 100K, this is set to 100K. Now this only works if the negative gains, uh, if the positive gains here sum up to the negative gains here. Now here I've got a gain of 1. I also have a gain of 1 on the input. Then I have these gains of, come back to it, of 3 plus a gain of, oops, excuse me, 3.24 plus a gain of 5.24. So what I do is I just sum up those gains, which is 1 from the input, 1 coming back from A5, um, 
5 plus 5.24 coming back from A3 plus 3.24 coming back from A1. Then I have the negative side of the summer, which is a gain of 5.24 plus 3.24. So what's the difference in the gain? 2. Then I just create a dummy signal that would have a gain of 2, which would be 100k divided by 2, 50k. And so there you have it. Um, if we look at the Bode plot, what we see is pretty good match. All right, at 3K, because we're using a Butterworth filter, yeah, it's going to be 3 dB at 10K. But notice, in the ideal filter, we're getting an ideal low-pass response. This bump is caused uh, due to the gain bandwidth limitations. And just for your information, I'm using a level 2 gain bandwidth of 1 meg. All right. Put in a more realistic op amp and you'll, you'll get something different. Uh, also notice I had to add another stage because it's coming out negative. Um, so I had to invert it. Then the next thing I would do is run transient responses. Um, which actually take a bit of time. And I simulate for a thousand um, but I delete, but I only start saving the data after 500 microseconds. That's because there is a step response, and before you get to this flat ripple, um, the ripple measurement will just not be accurate because it's catching the step response. Why did I choose 1,000 microseconds and saving after 500 microseconds? Because uh, since the gain... At 10K is 3 dB, I felt, well, if I take the inverse of that, that'll roughly translate into 500 microseconds. Um, kind of calling that 1 over 10K my 5 tau, if you will, even though it's a fifth order system. Um, this does. So then I want to plot my. Effective number of bits. Go to Spice Error Log, plot step data. I will add a trace, just put this in. You really need that equation. Let's just put it that way. Um, now, yeah, the low frequencies has some, some kind of odd things. And the um, so we really need more points because I think I was at home I was getting about eight bits. So if I, I let's see how long that takes to simulate. Shouldn't be too long. Sorry for making you watch through this. Almost there. So while that's running, um, 
I just take the so if you were doing a third order and it was a, a Butterworth low pass filter oh are we done view airlog that's nice and smooth put it here and yeah we're getting a little bit over eight bits for a fifth order which is a lot more than um i think 